I want to talk something very small about marriage, and I want to speak the importance of a mentor, mentor in your life. And who is a mentor? A mentor is someone whom you respect and honor in your marriage, that is, your wife respect that person, your husband respect that person, then you're supposed to show your children on how to respect this person so that he can guide you in the journey of marriage. And I want to say this, if you have never been married again, or even if you are married and you divorced or separated, you need a mentor. If there is something that is going to make you independently dangerous in this life, it's making sure that you have a mentor. Someone you can call. Someone you can call and tell them, we have a problem with my husband. I have a problem with my wife. And that person can come and guide you in the area that you people are having conflict about. A mentor is not your workmate. A mentor is not your age mate. A mentor is not your friend. A mentor is not your career partner. It's not a business partner. No. A mentor must be someone whom you, you uphold him or her with high regards. Mtu ambaye unamweshimu sana. Mkiu na mke wako. Mtu ambaye unamweshimu sana. You have very high regard over that person. This person is not an angel. This person has weaknesses. But because you have chosen this person as a mentor for your marriage, you don't discuss your mentor's weakness with your wife. You don't discuss your mentor's weakness with your husband. You don't discuss your mentor's weakness with your children. A mentor is someone who will tell you what you don't want to hear. He will tell you what you don't want to hear. And he will tell you, no, you can't have sex once in a month. You are depriving your wife. How now? Mm -hmm. And how now? How, now? Mm -hmm. how do you have sex once in a month? Uh -huh. Mama, are you able to reach orgasm? Are you able to have SOJs? Shouts of joy. You know? <laughs> you know? Au unakuanga mtu wako. Ni kama unasukimiwa kichuma. A mentor has access to ask you about your sexual life, about your finances, about your communication, about everything. If you don't have such a person whom you can sit down under and get advice, get direction, that marriage is destined for destruction. There are people who are divorced and separated not because it was a bad man or a bad woman, but because you lacked a mentor, someone who could come in and help you to actually solve your conflict. When you lack such a person, I tell you the truth, even if the marriage was made from heaven, mutaachana. Kwa sababu, kuna mambo inawasumbua na muna hekima, hamuna wisdom, hamujui mutahandu, mutahandu, how to handle each other. And by so doing, you find yourself stuck in marriage. And that's why most of the people are not enjoying marriage, because you have no mentor. So I want to ask you, who is your mentor? Who is your mentor in marriage? Some of us here who have very successful businesses, you first of all worked in a certain company. Yeah. Then after you worked in that company, you moved out. Ukaenda kuanza biashara yako. So the place where you are working, you are mentored. Some of you keep going evening classes because you want to improve your career. You want to improve your skills. Wengine tunaenda hata ma seminars. Wengine tunaenda workshops. But where do you get knowledge of this important institution?
institution called marriage. Where do you get advice? So most of us, married couple, we are self-made mentors. Yeah. You set an exam, you mark for yourself, and you give yourself 100%.